I'm going to be doing a couple uh, update videos about some things I've done to my Grand Cherokee here. And right now I'm going to talk about redoing these bumpers. If you've ever seen, uh, this is a 2000 model, if you've ever seen some of these Cherokees, these bumpers tend to fade. If you have the, uh, the Grand Cherokee Laredo, the other one, the Limited, uh, they, they're actually painted to match the body, the rest of the body, so they don't fade. But the Laredos are just plastic, and they, they do fade. So I've, uh, I've redone mine with some Dupacolor trim paint. And I've actually had these painted for probably going on six or seven years now. And it's held up this whole time. I've only had to touch up a couple spots here like where people's feet hit when they're getting in to the truck. Like right here. Um, there's a couple spots that, that tend to wear off. That's a, just a deep scratch that's in the plastic. But these brush guards tend to fade. Uh, this trim tends to fade. And when, when we had this, when we first got this, it was really faded like a gray a gray color. Let me see if you can... There we go. And I got it back to a nice black color now. When I first did it, I uh, I, can, I washed it, scrubbed it really well all the bumper, all the plastic pieces that I was going to repaint and I used a degreaser and I degreased them and then I washed them with soap and then I rinsed them and then I rinsed them again and so they were they were scrubbed clean and uh, then I masked everything off I used masking tape and plastic to mask off from from the edge up about a foot or two and and then I just I painted them with uh, with this trim paint and I used about four or five cans probably four cans to do the whole the whole Jeep here and um, then I did I think two or three cans of clear coat over the top of it and it's held up really well like I said I mean I've taken it through car washes I've taken it off-roading I've taken it um, everywhere hand washed it car washed it like I said and it's held up pretty well. There are a couple spots that that uh, I need to touch up, like right there. So, I mean, it gets... You can kind of see how gray it was underneath there. So, I mean... And this is on the front bumper, which gets the brunt of the air and debris. <clears throat> so, I mean, there's a couple spots. I don't mind touching that up. Touching that up just a quick couple shots of the spray can and uh, it touches up nicely and I even painted the uh, front grill here recently this is more recent and this was a chrome color on here and I just took it off and painted it so if you have a, uh, a Jeep that is fading I uh, I would highly recommend these this trim paint here, Dupacolor trim paint, and you can get I think there's you can get a case of six of them on Amazon for thirty bucks, and I used I think four maybe five cans probably four cans and then I've I've had these other ones um, that I just use for touch up, and it's worked really well so. If you want to kind of give just a new, refreshed look to uh, to your Jeep and the the trim here, I would uh, I would recommend it. I'll put a link down below to this uh, paint from Amazon, six cans for about I think it's twenty nine dollars, thirty bucks, something like that, um, and it's worked really well.